Oh, the little lights come on. Fasten your seat belt. Well, I will if I can. I've had too much lunch. Can you manage? Do you know, I've never seen anyone work so hard as you. All the way over, all through lunch. I thought to myself, I bet he's on a business trip. Yes, I thought you were. No, no, I'm on holiday. Yes, it is my first trip to America. Uh, but I think you know what it's... Oh, now, what is that? Ooh, bumpy, I don't like it. What is it? A cloud? Oh, yes. Now, see, the wind has gone all white. Oh, there we are, blue again, that's better. Oh, you know, we are beginning to come down. There it is. Ah, oh. yes, it is my first flight. Well, no, it's not actually my first flight because I flew to the Channel Islands once, but I didn't like it. No, I came back by boat. <laughs> Silly, really. But this is my first proper flight with food. No. <laughs> and you know, I haven't seen my grandchildren yet. Well, I haven't seen my son for five years. Uh, he's in electronics and uh, he went out there on a contract and he didn't know if he'd like it, but he did and he's settled nicely. And uh, he's had several promotions, you know, they, they think very highly of him. And when he had his last one, he wrote to me and he said, come on over, Mum. And uh, he, he's given me this trip. Yes, it is very nice. Well, he is very bright, yes, but, you know, he's not spoilt with it. <laughs> yes, uh, they're going to meet me at uh, New York uh, because they live in a place called Stamford, Connecticut. <laughs> oh, is that how you pronounce it? Oh, well, I, I shan't have to mention it when I'm there and I shall learn it for when I come back. <laughs> yes. Yes, his wife is American. Yes, she's an, an Afro-American uh, girl, a colored girl. Oh, I do hope I'm going to do it all right. You know, when I first got the letter, I didn't know what to think. But then I've always brought up Kev and his sister to believe it's not who you are, it's what you are that counts. And, you know, I, I really do believe that. It's an awful thing to say, but in a way, I'm glad his dad... Uh, well, I lost him six years ago, and he was a dear man, uh, but he didn't like change. You know, he, he liked what he knew, pattern. And I think he might have found the adjustment a bit... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> well, I don't know whether I think it's easier for a mixed marriage in England or America. I think there are more of them over there. But, you know, I, I wish they were living near me, for the children running in and out the house all the time, and, and then I don't know. Well, because, you see, people where I live are very narrow. <gasps> oh, they've all got such little lives. They're none of them use their front rooms. <laughs> no. I mean, they've all got them, and they keep them lovely, matching nets up at all the windows, you know, but... Uh, they don't use their front rooms. And do you know, there's a woman in my church, and she said to me, I don't know why you go on about us all being the same. She said, I look in my mirror and I'm pink. They look in their mirror and they are brown. We are different. We are meant to be different. Well, I thought to myself, I'm very glad I'm different from you because, you know, she's got some very funny false teeth. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I shouldn't have said that. It wasn't kind, but... Ooh, she gets on my wick. I said to her, I said, people will always look different to people. But in the sight of God, we are all absolutely the same. I'm sure of that. Oh, well, I hope you didn't mind my saying that. Well, you know, people don't like you to talk about God. They get all embarrassed and start counting the buttons. <laughs> the well, I'm used to it, you see, because my father, he talked a lot about God. I thought the world of my father. I could do with having him here now, I can tell you. <laughs> oh, now look, we are beginning to come down. You can see the cars. Pastel colours, pinks and blues, and their gardens. Do you know, there's one there with a the swimming pool. Can you see? It? Oh, well, you've seen it all before. Ooh, the 
Put those brakes on too fast. I don't like it. Complacy shuddering. Is it all right? Hmm? Uh, yes, uh, there are uh, uh, two grandchildren. You must think me silly. Uh, two grandchildren, yes, a boy and a girl. Uh, one of them is very, very dark, you know, but the other one, honestly, you'd hardly even know. Oh, and I've lovely snaps of her as well. Oh, she's beautiful. Very tall and slim and, well, Kev would never marry anyone who wasn't nice. And, you know, she writes me such lovely letters. She calls me Mother Comstock. Well, because I'm Mrs. Comstock, you see. And, you know, I think that's nice. Dear Mother Comstock. I think it's got a bit of a bouncy rhythm to it. <laughs> You know, when I think about my mother-in-law, well, I never called her anything for 33 years. <laughs> well, except dear in a time of crisis. <laughs> and sometimes I'd call her Mrs. C, and, you know, she liked that. I should have done it more often. Do you suppose that they'll have one of those places where you can watch the plane coming in uh, observation terraces, aren't they called? I know they've got one at London Air. Oh, no, look. We are beginning to swing round. And, you know, there is a big building coming into sight. And I think there are people on... They're there. They're all there. Oh, there they are. Oh, I do hope I do it all right. I just want to do it right. <laughs>